Yes. May I come in, sir? One, sir. One, sir. Please, sir. Thank you, sir. Silas. Yes, sir. Silas is from Bikaner. Yes, sir. Okay. Everywhere we find Bikaneri, Bikaneri eh, is some trademark brand because there are so many Bikaneris. Bikaneri, Namkeen, and I don't know whether those are genuine or not. Sir, one of the reasons has been the many of the families who have moved from Bikaner to different parts of the country because of sometimes because of the uh, uh, limited opportunity at the desert, due to desertic conditions and sometimes due to uh, business. Uh, expansion of the business. Mm. So that's why their families are also uh, expanding at the name of Pekaner. And at the same time, sir, sir, uh, some people are also using the brand Pekaner to promote their business or to sustain themselves. But this Bikaner, Bikaneri, what is the Bikaner brand? Main brand which is available? Sir, uh, there are uh, many uh, brands that have come through the Bikaner. For example, like the Bikazi or Haldiram, these have roots from the Bikaner. For using Bikaneri, there is uh, no specific guidelines. Yeah, but there is some the trademark is there, na? Sir, yeah. for the Bujia, Bikaneri Bujia, ah. the GI tag has been given. Bika, that is Bikaneri Bujia. Yes, sir. But you say Bikaneri, uh, all this Bikaner uh, food courts and all. Yes, Bikaneri Wala. Yes, sir. This is the ah. most uh, trusted brand. Bikaneri Wala. So, which I should go for if I want to visit some food court or purchase some sweets or namkeen? Uh, sir, in that case, you should come to the Bikaner. There are many different. Uh, uh, no, I cannot go to Bikaner for that. <laughs> I am talking about Delhi. Uh, sir, there are some good brands, sir, such as the, even the Bikaji, Haldiram, or the Bikaner Wala. Haldiram also is from there? Uh, uh, yes, sir. Sir, actually, the, all the th three, uh, they have some. Uh, they are roots from the common family. Achha. Okay, okay. Uh, your father was in education department. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, what is this secondary education, primary education, technical education? Sir, uh, in uh, Rajasthan, the uh, education has been divided into two parts. Uh, one is the uh, school education and the college education. In yeah. the uh, school education, there have been two segregation: the primary and uh, elementary education and the secondary education. Yeah. And what about technical education? There is no such department? Uh, sir, that is under the college education department. That is the third department. Uh, yes, uh, sir. Uh, even the ministries for the school education and the college education, they are different. They are different ministries? Yes, sir. Okay. <coughs> Uh, which is the top sugar producing state in our country? I think in the last two three years some changes have taken place. Uh, I'm sorry, sir. I'm uh, not uh, aware, but there has been shift from the northward towards the southern just, states. Just guess what? Which are more important sugar producing states? Sir, the uh, earlier it was the Uttar Pradesh, mm -hmm. but uh, now uh, as far as I'm able to recall, uh, it might be Maharashtra. Uh, okay. Any other? Other than Maharashtra? I'm sorry, sir. I Bihar or Haryana or Punjab or Karnataka, Gujarat. Okay. Sir, okay. it might be in the okay. southern states. Okay. Uh, we have Indian Forest Act of 1927. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah? Uh, it's a central act. Yes, sir. Whether states also have got powers to amend this act? Uh, sir, the certain forest and the uh, certain provisions of the forest, they are put in the concurrent list of seven schedule. So, the states have the powers to uh, clarify the, some of the acts that are being present in the uh, uh, Indian Forest Act. Some of the provisions? Yes, sir. Some of the provisions, uh, state governments also can change? Sir, uh, generally, uh, if uh, for, for changing some provisions or countering the uh, uh, national act, or the uh, they have to send a file or the act for the president's consent. I am talking about the specific Indian Forest Act, yes, the sir. Central Act. Uh, it's applicable throughout the country. Yes, sir. If some state want to make some amendments in particular provisions, whether they can do that? Uh, yes, sir. They can do, but the file has to be sent to for the president's uh, assent. But if it is not in conflict with the provisions given in the act, uh, sir, why yes. it should go? So sir, it then, uh, then it can go because uh, yeah. the these in the forest has been mentioned in the concurrent list of the subsidies. Okay, and would the same thing apply to CRPC and CPC also? CRPC is Criminal Procedure Code. Yes, sir. Civil Procedure Code. Those are also central acts. They, those also can be amended by the uh, state governments. Mm, I'm not sure, sir, exactly about this. That's okay. So there has been some controversy regarding the 
airbags in the vehicles. Yes, sir. Now I think two or three are there. So government is insisting that it should be six airbags, and manufacturers have been objecting. So what is this? Comparison? Sir, uh, it is regarding the cost of uh, the vehicle. Generally, in uh, the Indian market, that is very cost sensitive. So in the base model, the company tries to keep the bare minimum uh, airbags. However, considering the safety of the uh, the driver and the riders, it is necessary that they sh should be the at least uh, six airbags that has been uh, provisions being made by the. Center. Can you see the airbags in the normal vehicle? Sir, uh, generally uh, when there is a uh, impulse uh, on the car, no, impact the on the car. Yes, sir. Huh. And then and they come out. Can if, as a just I am having curiosity. Can I press something and see the airbag coming out and then put it back? Sir, it would, as far as I am aware, it would not be able. Uh, that is not possible back, hmm? uh, in back in this position. Okay. Yes. All right, uh, uh, Mr. Machra. Yes, sir. You have done uh, B Tech uh, in mechanical engineering from IIT Delhi. Yes, sir. And after that, you did MSc in chemistry. Yes, sir. And you also got uh, CSIR uh, UGC in chemical science. Uh, sir, uh, the in UG in the net or the GRF in, in the chemistry is known by the name the chemical science. Mm -hmm. So uh, what I am trying to point out, uh, this has nothing to do with your core subject of mechanical engineering. Uh, sir, uh, after my graduation, I was preparing for the civil services and forest service examination. So side by side, I was also giving private tuitions to class 11 to 12th for NEET and JE advanced examination. So thereby I developed an interest in the chemistry and then I decided to go for the master's in chemistry. Mm -hmm. It seems that uh, our society has missed a very good uh, chemist. I am sorry. The society has missed a very good uh, chemist. You could have been a good chemist. Uh, sir, currently I, I am appointed as a chemist in Geological Survey of India. Uh, if I am able, uh, if I am not able to make it to the Indian Forest Services, then I would be happily uh, doing my duties. It's a very, as very appropriate job for you. So, why do you want to go into Forest Service? I think, looking at your profile and your interest, you got a very good job. Uh, yes, sir, you will probably, ex you no doubt, excel in that job. Sir, the, yes, sir. The uh, my job as a chemist is very exciting, uh, interesting. And uh, however, at the same time, my role as a chemist would be limited, very limited. However, in the Indian Forest Service, I would uh, get a uh, greater exposure. What, a, what is the job of a chemist in geological survey? Sir, uh, the immediately uh, we have to look after the different royal sock and mineral samples. Uh, we have to uh, look after. Uh, uh, we have to analyze the water samples uh, if uh, provided to us, and we have to prepare the uh, basic geochemical atlas uh, of our country. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, if you look at uh, nature, nature has taken only few elements from the periodic table, maybe about 28 or 29 elements from the periodic table and created all the functions and with uh, such quaint beauty, beauty. Whereas we humans have taken all the elements from the periodic table and created all kinds of problems. Uh, can you comment on this and what is your view and what can we learn? Uh, sir, the excess of anything is bad. If we are able to utilize uh, within the carrying capacity of the nature, then uh, the, all the elements, they have their certain properties and their use. True. But then nature is able to provide all the functions using very less elements, which is sustainable. Uh, sir, uh, in small amount, the uh, apart from the radioactive elements, there all, all the elements are present. For example, even up to the radon, we are able to find in their uh, natural states. So the, they are roughly around 86 uh, uh, elements that are present in their uh, element uh, in their natural states. They may be present in the natural state, but it's not utilized by nature. Sir, so, due to the density differentiation, some of the elements, they are present. Hmm. Uh, however, to make life sustainable, the, the certain components that are, are required for the our biological system, they are around 30 to 40. But even in the, for example, the nickel, that might not be useful directly. Hmm. However, it is useful for maintaining the magnetism of the earth. Hmm. Now, if you look at uh, dye industry, the color, yes. the color human beings produced, uh, which is what is dyes and dye is a major pollutant of major rivers and groundwater. Yes. Whereas uh, if you look at nature, it also produces all kinds of colors, beautiful colors. How is nature able to produce colors without producing any pollution or any chemicals? 
sir, um, uh, because the, the the color in the dye that comes through the some of the chemical substances or the color of those chemical substances, the color that natural uh, presents are through the harmful, non-harmful chemicals which do not have the side effect. However, the one of the major issues with the uh, dye industry has been the use of the chromium six color mm. because that is very dangerous. So, if we are able to utilize that chromium six and convert into the chromium three, that would be very less dangerous as compared to the chromium six. Mm -hmm. So, the nature has some of the processes through which it converts the more harmful substances into the less harmful substances. So, that we artificially are not able to uh, proceed that hard because there is some cost associated uh, with it. So, ideally we should go for, in, in, instead of chromium 6, we should convert that as con chromium 3 and release in the nature. What about structural colouring? Have you heard about structural colouring? Nature uses structural colouring a lot. That is utilising light as a source for colouring. Yeah, I am sorry sir, I am not aware. Mm -hmm. What is uh, sentinel species? I am sorry sir, I am not aware. Mm -hmm. Uh, something called canary in the cave. There is a term called canaries in the cave. I am sorry sir, I will go back and look into because, it. Because uh, when these uh, miners used to go to caves, they used to carry a bird. So, the bird was very sensitive. So, that can be classified as a central species. But you are also a poet. Can yes. I say that poets and artists are canaries of society? Uh, yes sir, sir. Uh, through the emotions and the poems and the emotions used in those poems. They are to better uh, able to reflect the uh, some of the realities of the society or some of the feelings of the individual. So, uh, in the result, uh, they are uh, able to uh, hold, they are able to motivate or uh, lead that uh, people. No, the context is canaries in the cave. The caves, when the carbon monoxide in the cave increases, the canaries tend to die. So, yes. the cave people, are, people who are miners are aware that there is a danger. Yes. Sir. Similarly, our Poets and artists able to anticipate dangers which is facing the society. That is the question. Sir, uh, one of the uh, uh, ways could be through they, they are able to highlight the, some of the social events through the beautiful message and through some of the metaphors and the ironies. Secondly, sir, sir some of the poems that even I uh, read, even that are written by me or some other, some other poems, that helps us to motivate me during the hard now, times. This so, is an okay. Sorry to interrupt. This is an occasion where you could also ask the permission to recite one of your poems, right? Yes, because sir. you are explaining something and you are also referring your poems. You could take the permission and say, "Sir, I have a line from my poem," and you could recite that. Uh, yes. Do that. Uh, sure, sir. Sir, uh, one of the uh, excerpt from my poem. Uh, can I recite? Yes, please. कि देखी एक चट्टान बड़ी कि देखी एक चट्टान बड़ी उसे पार करने का जुनून था कि मिली ना हो चाहे कामयाबी लेकिन कोशिश करने में भी सुकून था कोशिश करने में भी सुकून था गिरने का एहसास है उठने का विश्वास है कि गिरने का एहसास है उठने का विश्वास है खुद से ही संघर्ष खुद से ही टकराव है मंजिल में नहीं मिलने की तारीख में बदलाव है मिलने की तारीख में बदलाव है थैंक यू सर थैंक यू थैंक यू Okay, Salesh, uh, you are from Rajasthan. Yes, sir. I would like to know, uh, I mean, Rajasthan government is doing an excellent job. Three flagship programs of Rajasthan government. Yes, sir. Sir, uh, one of the flex scheme, uh, schemes has been the Bhamasha card that has yes. integrated a different 54 hmm. uh, departments and different ministries into the one card. So, that has led to the paperless and digitalized services to the uh, citizens. Sir, second has been the focus on the renewable energy. The, there has been increased upthrust for the wind and the solar energy, especially in the western Rajasthan. Mm. Uh, and sir, uh, third uh, has been the uh, Mukhya Mantri Chiranjeevi Yojana that provides the free medicine as well as the free healthcare checkup to all the citizens, especially to the uh, citizens uh, above 60 uh, age and below poverty line. This is new one, yes? Uh, yes, sir. This is new program. Sir, uh, the, Chiranjeevi. Uh, Sir, earlier there were th and there are the three components of this scheme. One is the free checkup, free uh, mm. indoor care, and free outdoor and uh, free insurance. Mm. So earlier and these three were divided into different uh, uh, care, and, uh, and under and they were divided in different schemes. So as a result, mm. there was not the ease of do, uh, serv uh, service delivery. So now it is easier for the even for the as a citizens as well as the government to take uh, track of the record. That's very good. Okay. Now, please tell uh, three 
very very uh, important program which has changed the face of the common people by government of india because government of india having 300 programs but i yes. want only 3 from you sir uh, if i take the context of the uh, western rajasthan and bikaner and churu to be particularly first uh, the major has been the swachh bharat abhiyan because they, they, there are been many places where they were not having the toilet so second has been the kusum because people have been aware of fertility and of uh, importance of the renewable energy and also the wasteland that has been converted into the green land and so th- third has been the jal sadam yojana because there has been the recharge of many of the uh, uh, natural as well as artificial uh, ponds in the uh, region as well as th- it has provided drinking water to many of the uh, villages which earlier were not having okay indira gandhi canal yes uh, is a face changer for rajasthan yes but sir. it has got certain problems of late what are those uh, you know concerns which has this canal has created uh, of course it has done a lot, lot of service to the rajasthan yes. people please tell some what are the problems i wanted to know sir it has been a lifeline for the western rajasthan however the excess of anything is bad same happened here few problems first of all is the increasing salinity issues and the water logging issues that has also led to the uh, uh, malarial conditions uh, in the region mm-hmm. so uh, second major problem has uh, also been re- related to the uh, increasing monoculture that has also related to the growing of the uh, exotic species along the indira gandhi river and second is also the people have shifted towards the uh, wheat rice and uh, in some regions of the hanumangarh the uh, sugarcane so these are the water ex- uh, intensive crop the, which are not suitable for the uh, climatic conditions and also the monoculture the people have shifted away from the pulses maize and bajra these types of crop okay suppose you get your own cadre rajasthan yes. and become the divisional forest officer suppose jaipur or jodhpur or maybe bikaner or area is given to you around 100 hectares for plantation and all area is all barren and then i mean the sands are there Uh, how you go in for uh, plantation activity you start uh, sir uh, first would be to divide the region into the uh, different small areas uh, some of the areas could be kept for the grazing of the uh, cattle and the um, uh, domesticated animals sir and the second could be to, to uh, uh, choose few of the uh, uh, species that are growing very well native species for example the babul khejri Uh, and sir the rohira are do this type of species which are palatable uh, to the uh, animals as well as at the same time they uh, are also multi purpose trees and they are well uh, they, they go very well in the desertic conditions and mm-hmm. uh, sir so third would be especially in the western rajasthan the there has been drive to go for the riverine buffers along the indira gandhi canal so uh, in that context uh, in the growing of the uh, local species which could uh, get, uh, hold the water and which could hold uh, and trees and also which are uh, to- tolerant to the salinity conditions this would be uh, my priority order okay what is the impo- my last question what is the importance of uh, nursery uh, in context of developing a i mean really good plantation uh, sir uh, one of the uh, major uh, aim of the nursery is to reduce the regeneration time because uh, in the open forest the condition would not be uh, uh, ideal and at the same time it would take some time for the crop to grow however if the trees are grown in the nursery and later transfer to the field conditions the mortality rate would be also less and at the same time the requirements such as the water and uh, nutrient that would also be less as compared to and the requirement in the nursery what is the importance of uh, root trainers and uh, uh, green houses in context of nursery have you heard these terms sir uh, i have heard that to me greenhouse but not the root tenants okay, uh, can i make uh, a guess uh, okay, for the on. sir it might be related to the uh, drainage of the excess water through the nursery no, it's, it's a small uh, tray type things where you can put the seeds and uh, that the trip the uh, the root is very much trained for that this is artificially helping to the i mean growth of the plant that's all thank you sir okay. for donating me yeah sadesh Yes, sir. <coughs> right. So you have a hobby of writing poems. Yes, sir. There's a new form of poetry, haiku. Yes, What sir. What is it? Sir, it refers to the a set of three lines, 
uh, whereby the first line has a 5 word, second line has a 7 and third is also 5. The total 17 uh, word poem. They, they might or they might not be related to the uh, one or other lines. Okay. Why is it becoming so popular? Sir, uh, one of uh, the reasons has been the in very small words you are able to convey the very uh, large message. Whereby the sometimes the first line and the second line they are not related with each other. Uh, other. But however in the third line we uh, are able to connect and the both the line with each other as well as uh, connect to the some common messages. Okay, all right. Can you name some invasive plant species in India? Uh, sir, uh, one of them is Prosophis juliflora. Then the uh, some of the species of the uh, Eucalyptus uh, and uh, Lantana species. What is the impact of invasive uh, plant species? Uh, sir, one of the uh, impact that has been seen in the western Rajasthan due to Eucalyptus is the declining groundwater because it it extracts a lot of water. As a result, groundwater depletion takes place. Secondly, these species are not platable, so the quality of grassland that has also declined because they overtake. Um, because they are not platable, so as a result, the uh, amount of uh, by amount of other spe native species present decline. So the quality of grassland also decline. Okay, all right. So how many or can you name some protected areas in Rajasthan? Uh, sir, some of the uh, uh, there are th uh, three national parks in the Rajasthan: Kelada National Park, Ranthambhore National Park, and Sarishka <coughs> National Park. Apart from that, they they are the four. Tiger reserves, two of them are the Ranthambhur and Sariska. Apart from that, um, Kundra Hills Tiger Reserve and Ramgarh Vijdhari uh, Tiger Reserve. And even there are 31 uh, wildlife centuries in Rajasthan. Okay. Uh, how has been the implementation of Forest Rights Act in Rajasthan? Sir, there are uh, only very few regions where the uh, there forest uh, community has been residing in the forest. They are the southern and the southwestern regions of the Rajasthan. Okay, all right. Uh, you have a hobby of teaching. Uh, right? Yes, sir. So, can you tell me, uh, uh, UGC has made some changes, uh, you know, various changes and many progressive steps has been taken. Yes, can sir. you list down a few of them sir, which has been taken in the last seven, eight months? Sir, uh, one of the steps has been the uh, with the new education policy 2020. The, 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 uh, teacher training program that has been converted into four year program, the B.A. program that earlier was three, uh, two year, and uh, some uh, there has been uh, and secondly sir for the college education the, there was a mandatory PhD that was to be uh, enforced from the 2023 now that has been shifted uh, again for the one year due to the COVID and other implementation issues. Okay, many private universities have sprung up in Rajasthan. Uh, yes sir. Yeah. So, uh, can you evaluate them and can you tell me the positives and negatives of it? Sir, uh, and currently India is undergoing a demographic dividend. The number of seats in the government colleges has been very limited. So, as a result, the coming of the uh, private uh, colleges and universities that has helped us to bridge the gap between the required students to be uh, employed as at the same time the number of students that are coming. Uh, however, at the same time, the major issues has been the quality of education provided by the private colleges and universities. That has been the below subpar. So, in that case, uh, matter, the UGC and uh, All India Technical Education uh, the, the Committee, they, they should come together and uh, ensure that the highest standards of the uh, college education that are being set and met by the uh, colleges, uh, private colleges especially. Okay, last question. What do you mean by biodiversity hotspots? Sir, biodiversity hotspots are the regions or the areas where there is very high biodiversity present. At the same time, there has been the equally high threat to the biodiversity of that region. Generally, for uh, there are the two conditions for a region to come under the biodiversity hotspot. First is it should have more than 1500 uh, endemic species which are uh, uh, present only in that region. Secondly, more than 70% of area should be under threat. Okay. What do you mean by endemic species? Sir, the species that are present only in that region and nowhere else. Okay. Thank you.